What if I told you that a new type of electric motor has been developed? One that doesn't use a single gram of copper or aluminum in its coils. Sounds impossible, right? For over a century, metal coils have been at the heart of electric motors. But now, a team of researchers in South Korea has built something radically different. They've created a new kind of wiring, made entirely from carbon, that could change how electric motors are built and what they can do. You will be surprised to know that these new motors boost electrical conductivity by 133%, while cutting motor weight by more than 80%. This isn't a sci-fi idea or a futuristic experiment locked away in a lab. It's real, and it works. And the most surprising part? Almost nobody is talking about it. In this video, we're diving into the science behind this breakthrough exploring its game-changing benefits, and taking a hard look at the challenges it still faces. Stick around, because what you're about to see could be the next big shift in electric machines. Before we start, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Firstly, to understand how radical this is, let's go back to the basics of how electric motors work. At the core of nearly every motor, from your ceiling fan to a Tesla drivetrain, are metal coils, usually made from copper. These coils carry current and generate magnetic fields, which turn motion into electricity or vice versa. Copper is used because it's highly conductive, reliable, and relatively easy to manufacture. But there's a problem. Copper is heavy. It's expensive. And in many modern applications, like electric aircraft, wearable devices, or drones, Every extra gram slows you down and drains your battery. Even aluminum, which is lighter, still adds significant weight and doesn't offer the same conductivity. We've reached a point where traditional metals are limiting the potential of next-gen electric systems. The world needs an alternative. Enter the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, or KIST. Researchers there have developed a new form of electrical wiring that does away with copper and aluminum entirely. Instead, they use carbon, specifically carbon nanotubes. These are ultra-thin tubes of carbon atoms, thousands of times smaller than a human hair, but with incredible properties. To transform them into usable wiring, the researchers created a process called lyotropic liquid crystal-assisted surface texturing, Last, for short, it's as complex as it sounds, but the result is simple. They align the carbon nanotubes into ultra-conductive, flexible, and lightweight cables. They call this design the Core Sheath Composite Electric Cable, or CSC Eek. Unlike traditional wire, this one isn't rigid. It can flex, twist, and even stretch, perfect for new kinds of motors, where mobility and form factor matter more than ever. So how does a motor run without metal coils? The answer lies in how electricity flows. In a traditional coil, electrons move through copper conductors, generating a magnetic field. The KIST researchers replaced those metal paths with tightly structured carbon nanotubes. Their last method aligns the nanotubes so electrons can flow efficiently through the carbon framework, mimicking the performance of copper. The CSCEC structure has a core of aligned nanotubes and a protective sheath, making it durable and electrically active. In prototype tests, motors using these carbon-based coils have demonstrated excellent conductivity and significant weight reductions. What's more, the flexibility of the material allows for new motor designs, ones that bend, compress, or twist, opening doors to soft robotics, smart fabrics, and ultralight electric vehicles. This isn't just a new wire, it's a rethinking of how motors are built from the inside out. This shift opens up enormous possibilities. In aerospace, replacing copper coils with carbon-based ones could shave off kilos of weight translating directly into more range and fuel efficiency. In electric vehicles, where hundreds of kilograms of copper wiring are standard, lighter carbon alternatives could boost range and reduce cost. In medical devices and wearables, flexible, skin-safe carbon coils 
could enable smart sensors that wrap around the body. And in robotics, imagine motors that can twist and stretch like muscle, powered by this new kind of wiring. Even large-scale electric grids could benefit from carbon wiring that's not only lighter, but easier to install in tight or dynamic environments. This innovation doesn't just improve existing designs, it lets engineers dream up completely new ones. But with all big breakthroughs, there's always a catch. First, let's talk manufacturing. Producing carbon nanotubes at scale is still expensive and technically challenging. Aligning them properly, as needed for last-based cables, adds another layer of complexity. Then there's the cost. Even though the materials are carbon, which is abundant, the processing and purification push the price far above that of standard copper or aluminum. There's also the issue of conductivity. While the carbon-based cables are impressive, they don't yet fully match copper in raw conductivity. They're close and improving, but not quite there. Durability is another concern. Carbon nanotubes can degrade when exposed to moisture, oxidation, or high voltages unless they're properly treated or sealed. And finally, there are still questions around the environmental and health impacts of widespread nanomaterial use. We don't yet have clear long-term data on how these materials behave outside the lab. So why hasn't this taken over yet? The truth is, material science often advances quietly. We tend to hear about flashy consumer tech, AI, smartphones, or electric cars. But the materials inside those devices, they evolve under the radar, and then suddenly, they're everywhere. This carbon-based wiring could follow the same path. Right now, it's in early-stage labs, being tested by researchers and quietly evaluated by defense agencies and aerospace companies. But its advantages, lighter, flexible, and nearly as conductive, are too big to ignore. As manufacturing improves and costs drop, we could see this tech jump from obscure journals to everyday machines. Your next electric motor might not hum with copper coils, but with a weave of engineered carbon. The implications here are massive. For over a hundred years, we've built motors the same way. Wound metal coils, magnetic fields, rigid structures. But now, the materials themselves are evolving. Instead of building better coils from better metals, we're asking a different question. What if we don't use metal at all? This shift from metallic conductors to carbon-based alternatives represents a total rethinking of how electric motors can work. It's about making motors that are not only efficient, but also lightweight, flexible, and adaptable to entirely new forms. This carbon nanotube technology may not be perfect today, but it's already rewriting the rules. The electric motor of the future may not just be lighter and faster, it may be smarter, softer, and built from materials engineered at the nanoscale. If you're excited about future tech that challenges 100-year-old norms, this is just the beginning. Subscribe for more stories like this, breakthroughs you won't see on the evening news, but that could power the next generation of machines. And let me know in the comments, do you think carbon-based coils could really replace copper? Or is this just another research lab fantasy? I'd love to hear your take. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.